This video is presented by EA and the EA Game Changers program. So big shout out to them. Big thank you to them for allowing us early access to Madden 21 so we can capture this content for you guys. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Let's get into it. What's good, everybody? And today, we're going to be going over some of the new or revamped abilities of Madden 21 that either weren't in Madden 20 at all. They've been changed from how they worked in Madden 20. So they're not going to work the same way. They're going to be different. In particular, we're going over five abilities, one of which is going to be a zone ability or X factor, where you have to go through a trigger condition in order to activate it. And then your opponent's going to have an end condition that they can use to knock you out of that X factor. Now, the other four are going to be superstar abilities where it's going to be active the entire game, no matter what. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be ranking these abilities. Then we're going to be breaking them down, talking about how they work. And then finally, we're going to be showing some live footage just so you guys can know what to look out for when you're using them or when you're playing against them. Let's get a look at number five. So for number five, we have Avalanche. Now this is gonna be your lone zone ability or X factor on this list. That's why it's at number five. You actually have to do something for it to activate or to be in the zone for it to do something for you. That's why we have it at number five. Now the trigger condition for Avalanche is gonna be five hit sticks. If you get five hit sticks, that's when you'll be in the zone. And the end condition is gonna be your opponent getting 30 yards. Once they get those 30 yards, you'll no longer be in the zone and it won't be activated anymore. So once it is activated, you're gonna force automatic fumbles on downhill hit sticks. Now that's, this is how I interpret it. I believe it's a north-south head-on collision where you square up and get a hit stick square on. If your opponent's running down the field and you meet them from the side and get a hit stick, I do not believe that triggers the ability to force a fumble. With the amount of testing that I did, that's how I forced the fumbles. And you'll see a few here in the live footage where I, I forced the fumble from square on. And there were times that I won't show where I didn't force a fumble. Those likely were because they were from the side or I made a mistake or user error. It just, or it just didn't meet their requirements. Like I said, with the downhill running, I don't think it has to be behind the line of scrimmage or anything like that. It can be downfield, but I believe it has to be square on. That's my interpretation of it. Let's take a look at the live clips. We have Avalanche activated on Jamal Adams right here. We're gonna try to set up a hit stick in the flats with the running back. Let's see if we can get it, Jamal. And there's the fumble. There's the fumble. That's gonna be good. If you can get that activated forcing fumbles. All right, now we're gonna try one on the QB. Okay, we have Avalanche here. I'm just gonna roll out to the right with Jimmy G. We have Jamal Adams and a spy. We're gonna run right at him and see if we can get that hit stick. And there it is. And that's the fumble. That's the fumble. Now I'll tell you now that I was trying that for a while. I did not get a ton of fumbles against the QB. Now it's possible I wasn't getting a good click on. I am click on. I am using two controllers. So if that's the case, maybe you can get fumbles every time on it. I'm not sure. But also it could be that it's a QB. And if it's not running right at the line of scrimmage, that you might not get the fumble because it, it does have wording about running right to, towards the line of scrimmage in the definition of the ability, excuse me, of the X factor. So we're gonna try one more here with a wide receiver and then we'll go on to the next one. Okay, now we're just gonna throw a smoke screen here on the outside. We've already done running back and quarterback. Now we're gonna do receiver. See if we get a hit stick with Jamal Adams and there's the fumble and there's the fumble. Let's go, all right, we got it. Now I did, I will say it took us two tries to get down. We didn't get it on the first one. But we did get it on the second one and on the running back. It only took the one try. We got it right away. And again, I told you on the quarterback, it took a few. So a, a good, a good few. I, I, I'd probably say about 20. 25 now keep in mind i was using two controllers so i probably messed up 15 16 17 of them maybe i messed up 19 we got the 20th one right and i messed up the one on the receiver i don't know i'll let you i'll let you all play with it some i do like it it's tough to activate five hit six is what it was on all madden i believe it's i believe it's five on all pro as well i could be wrong about that it might be three but either way i think it's a good ability excuse me a good x factor if you can get it activated you're gonna have some success with it on to the next one. For number four, we have Reach For. Now the rest of these abilities, they're gonna be superstar abilities. You don't have to do anything to turn them on. They're just gonna be on the entire game, no matter what, you don't have to do anything to activate them. But the way that Reach For it works is essentially you're gonna reach for that extra yard. Your player's gonna reach for that first down. They're gonna reach for that touchdown. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to press any buttons. You don't have to do anything on the controller. They're gonna do that on their own. And the reason why I have it on number four is essentially because two reasons. One, other players in the game can actually do this. They're just not going to do it as much as these players. And then number two, you don't always need that extra yard. Sometimes you're just going to get the first time. You're just going to get the touchdown. So that's why I have it at number four. You're going to see with these other abilities, they're just a little bit better. But first, let's take a look at this clip. Okay, now I'll reach for it. I wanted to set it up so Zeke could have a one-on-one -on -one at the end zone to see if he'll reach for the pylon here. So we'll see if he reaches. Oh, we did it. Oh, that was cool. Oh, I want to go to the replays. We're going to go to the replays here. Now, I will note, it, it, I was when I was using it, I've been, I've been trying to do this for a little bit. It didn't work every single time. He didn't always do it. But he did it probably, I would say, about 50% of the time when he had an opportunity. So sometimes you just get into the end zone, right? And you don't need to. You don't need to reach. And then sometimes you actually do need to reach, and he didn't reach. So I'd say about 50% of the time. But this is definitely the coolest one. I definitely am glad we caught this one for you. Definitely something that's going to help you out. And those yard markers, where you need that one and two, that's definitely going to be something to help you out. Again, it's not. it doesn't seem to be every single time. Now, of course, there's always user error. So maybe I made some mistakes on some of those. Maybe I didn't put him in a good position where he could reach out. So keep that in mind. But I'd say about 50% of the time, it works 
on to the next one. Now for number three, we have El Toro. Now I was very close, very close to putting this in number two. The reason why I ultimately decided not to is because I based on how I like to play. I believe this is more of a use of the D-line ability and I prefer to use it as a linebacker. If you like to use the D-line, that's perfectly cool. This one's probably number two, maybe even debatably number one for you. Very good ability. Now it works if you're not using it. You'll see in the clips coming up that it lights up when I'm not using it. So it definitely works. Now keep in mind, you have to have max pass rush points no matter what. The reason why I ultimately put it in number three is because it's better, I feel like, when you're using it. I didn't see that bull rush animation when I wasn't using it. I only got that when I was using it. Maybe it can happen when I'm not using it. Maybe I didn't do enough uh, repetitions. But the number that I did, I didn't see that. So that's why I put it in number three. Let's take a look at the clips. We've got Aaron Donald at defensive tackle here. We have all five pass rush moves. We're just set up a one-on-one -on -one for the AI. And then we'll do a user rush. Was that it? Was that it? That looked pretty good to me. We have to go to the replay here. We'll get a user rush after this, but I want to look at the replay. It's in the, like a prototypical bull rush, but that, that's okay to me. It looked, it looked just fine to me. We'll take a look here. And yeah, not a prototypical bull rush, more like a swim move, but that's okay with me. We'll try to do a user rush here, see if we can get different animation. So we've got all five pass rush moves again. You see on the bottom of the screen here, the right stick down is the bull rush. So we're going to do our best to try to get home right here. And there's the bull rush. And there's the bull rush. We got to go to the replay for that. That's more of a prototypical bull rush. And I noticed during the testing that holding RT while doing the right stick down bull rush helped get that speed boost right there. You saw Aaron Donald just kind of burst off the line. And that, and that was really cool. That was actually a lot of fun using the D line. And yeah, that that's it right there. That, 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 that was a fun ability. That was a fun ability. On to the next one. For number two, we have one step ahead. Now, this is going to help you in man coverage against any routes with cuts. So post routes, corner routes, in routes, out routes. And what I've noticed is going to help you in two ways. Number one, it's going to help you have a fast reaction time on those cuts. It's going to help you to keep up a little bit better. And then number two, when you do get beat a little bit, it's actually going to help your makeup speed. And that's really all I have to say about the ability. Let's take a look at the clips. So for one step ahead, I actually have Stefan Gilmore in the slot. Now, I'm not necessarily saying you should do that. The reason why I'm doing it is because posts and corners are usually in the slot. And that's what I wanted to use to do this test. We're doing a post against DeAndre Hopkins here. And you, ooh, look at that makeup speed. Look at that makeup speed. And you might have been able to throw that on the cut. You might have been able to throw that cut. Let's go back to the replay here. You might have been able to throw this on the cut. I just wanted to see it all the way through. You see here, right there, you probably could throw that. Dive, catch it, pass lead to the, to the side, like probably around 9 o'clock if you're passing to the left here. But after that, it's not open. Stefan Gilmore completely makes up, but that's against DeAndre Hopkins, one of the best receivers in the game. Now we're going to try a corner without that ability. Okay, so now we have Jason McCourty out there. I will say I've done some testing, and it seems that this post usually beats it clean, either off the press or on the cut, and every once in a while they stay with it. So I'll just give you that fair warning before we see this here. And that's on the cut. That's pretty clean. And again, I don't want to continue to show it to you over and over again. Different things have seemed to happen when Jason McCourty's there. When Stefan Gilmore was there, pretty much every single time, he stuck with it. You could maybe throw on that cut. It was usually the same exact look. But after that first step, if you didn't throw it on time, uh, Stefan Gilmore was going to make up that ground. So that's what I've seen. No need to continue to show it to you. Let's check out corner routes. So now we're using our corner route. We have Hopkins against Gilmore. We're going to see how one step ahead does against this corner route here. And that's not open. That's not open. That's not open. Wow, that, that was a little bit more evident on that corner route than it was on the post. Now we have McCourty on Hopkins. Same route couple. We're going to see how it goes without the ability. And that's more open. And that's more open. And honestly, with the rest of the repetitions that I did... That was pretty consistent. For the most part, Hopkins was got open against McCourty. Every once in a while, McCourty played it. But for the most part, Hopkins was open. But against Gilmore, pretty much most of the time, Gilmore was going to play it. And if he did get beat on the cut, he made up the ground a lot quicker. So that ability is pretty good. That's why I have it at number two. I thought it's it's, it's really useful. It can be really useful in man-to-man. -man, and that's But number one, I like number one a lot. Now for number one overall, for the best new ability in Madden 21, we put... Steph Eatley. Now, it's going to be a revamped pass lead ability from last year, but it's very different. It's extremely effective this year for passing the ball, and I love it. Definitely my favorite new ability in the game. Now, the way that it works is it's going to increase your throw power, and it's going to, it's going to increase the velocity from the quarterback to the receiver. It's going to lower the arc. It's going to help the ball to get there faster. It's definitely going to help you pass the ball. You'll see it here on the clips, so let's take a look. What I wanted to do for the first part of this pass lead elite was really just show you how fast, how quick the velocity of the ball is getting to that wide receiver. So we're going to run, come in here, and we're just going to throw the ball to this streak. And I'm summoning a backup quarterback after this to show you all the difference. I'll show you all this streak here. And you see that that ball zooms, right? That ball zooms to so that wide receiver. gets there very, very quickly. Now we're going to put in the backup and see the difference. Now we have Blaine Gabbard in the game. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Run, come in, and we're going to throw this streak. And we're going to see the difference in the velocity. You can tell. You can definitely tell. We're going to go back to these clips. I'm going to play them both at live speed here. You can see Tom Brady's pass just zooms. It doesn't have too much arc on it. 
and then you see with Blaine Gabberts that it just it, it lost a little bit. Obviously, with a run command, it doesn't make a difference. You're going to be able to complete the pass regardless. But you can definitely tell on Don Brady's best how much faster it is. Now we're going to try to fit a pass in that I think might be a difficult throw without the ability. Okay, now the pass that we're going to try here is this corner out on the right. We're going against a cover three pressed. Now against this, I usually don't think that you would be able to fit this corner out in. But we'll see now with the ability here. See if we get the zoom that we need. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I have to try. I have to try with Blaine Gabbard. We got to see the difference. Okay, now same exact thing here. We have the corner out on the right. We have a deep third cover three on the right side as well. We're going to see if we can fit this route in. And definitely a difference. Definitely a difference. Definitely a difference. I'll show you these again on the replay. You can see them back here. Look how fast Tom Brady's velocity. Again, less arc. It's able to get in there before Marshawn Lattimore can react. And with Blaine Gabbard, a little bit more arc. Gives him enough time to react. And it's a pick. So that's that's honestly why this is my favorite ability of the new ones. I love it. I hope you all will try to use it. If not in mutt, you can definitely try it out with the Bucks with Tom Brady. And that's going to do it. You see the final rankings here next to me. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope this video was enjoyable. And if it was, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace. Some of the best new abilities. Another one in the books.